Mike Myers. Oh, Mike, I loved your I loved your movies. Uh, Mike Myers, thank you for a five dollar super chat. Once I install Remote ID and register with the FAA, how do I get approved flights from the FAA? What kind of approval do you want, Mike? Once, like, there are places where you're allowed to fly without approval. There are very few places, like, there maybe there's some places where you have to go into an app and get Lance approval. Is that what you're asking about? Mike, I want to be clear that you know that, that most places you go, you don't need any explicit approval. You just fly. What I would say is there is an app. The app is called UAS Sidekick. Let me put it up on, on stream. UAS Sidekick. This is an app you can get for your phone. Where's the damn app? Okay, I just wanna I just wanna see the app. Is this like a, an online version of the app? That would be kind of cool. So this app, oh look, there is an online version of app. That's kind of cool. Um, this is an Android app you can get as well. Hello, there we go. And basically what you do is you look at your location and it tells you whether you're allowed to fly there. So for example, at this location, I don't know where this is. This is just some generic location they've popped up on. You see this zero right here? That means that the ceiling in this location is zero feet. And if you're in this location, you're not allowed to fly. Here, there's a 300 foot ceiling. Here, there's a 400 foot ceiling. So the first thing you do is you respect that ceiling, right? And there's more to it than that. We're not gonna go into all the details. But most of the time in America, you're going to be here and there's going to be no ceiling. And there, that's, that's effectively a 400 foot ceiling because, you know, you can't go above 400 feet legally. Uh, but you don't need any permission to fly. And there may be places where you can file for Lance approval. L-A-A-N-C. Lance approval. Um, in which case, once you file and get approval, you can fly. But but most places, you don't need any any particular permission to fly. You just uh, where the hell am I? Where am I? Peachtree City this is South Carolina, Georgia, Greenville, Tennessee. There. Oh, it's I see. It's cocked sideways. Yeah. Here we go. So. Um, Yeah. Here's the Knoxville International Airport, this space. And if I just click right here, we can see what's uh how do I see the actual Oh, it's filling in. Yeah. How do I see the the whether I can fly? Huh. On the app, there's a little box that pops up that shows, you know. But I click here. Oh, there we go. I touch the point and map touch point. Drop before you fly pin. There we go. Once I drop the pin, now it's going to show me like if I can fly in that area. And it checks, it checks that pin and all airspace two nautical miles from the pin drop. So basically, you're going to use this app to check whether you can fly in an area. And if it says you can fly, you're good to go. Where the blunty, where the hell, I can never remember. Where are the, where is it that you get Lance approval? Because if you're in class G airspace, you just fly. And then if you're like class A and B airspace, like you're not going to get any approval, right? Where is it you can get Lance approval and then fly? Is it class D? Can't fucking remember. Do you I'm know? I'm not the right person to ask. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hoped maybe someone would know. Anyway, I just look at the app. I and agree. The, just check the app. Yeah. Check the okay, app. so, and the app, look, check it out. So, look, it says here, auto approval available up to 100 feet, go to Lance. So, at this location, which is like right across the freaking street from Knoxville International Airport, it's at a country club, at this location... I can fly up to 100 feet if I get Lance approval. But only in this grid square. I have to stay in this grid square. So there you go. So basically download this app. Look at what the app says for the location you're at. 
and then do whatever it says. And then that's how you know you're legal. All right. I didn't know that was a web app. That's very cool.